ties. I said my name is Juice. America's most. Ain't no hand stepping. See you at the crossroads. Money on my hands down. Here lies them getting paid for. Never take a loss on my hands down. Only take a take it when I when I'm dead. I'm gang three times on my hands down. Been from the cradle to the grave. Now your favorite rapper name. Story, their life's a, life's a so what you want? Every day I struggle with it. Only God could tell me slipping. I'm infinitely big, big through the genesis. Dead presidents drop a gem on them. Be on earth, these the last days. Throw your, throw your get money, quiet storm. Have a, have a thoughts for the cream and the gay. For the money, only green is the green. Is the, I'm a player on the day. Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach, and you're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. Coming up, 2015 NFL MVP Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers take on Mitchell Trubisky and the Chicago Bears. With that, let's get out to venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Standing by with the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. First open way back in 1924, but renovated in 2002. There's a look inside venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. This was the scene a moment ago as the Bears emerged from their tunnel. Ready for football are they, and ready for football are we as the Bears get set to match up with the Carolina Panthers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. On the return, it's Tariq Cohen. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On first and 10, it's Trubisky. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And yeah, able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second no, no, down. No. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Here's carry number one for Jordan Howard. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. He needed a yard. That's what he got. And it's going to earn him a new set of downs. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive. Couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. On the left side, a catch by White. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Trubisky will throw. Throwing the slant pattern here complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Trubisky to Gabriel there for Bears first down. I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising to either one of us after the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but that big article in the paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like you're shot out of a cannon, and that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker. Can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate. Gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But... Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Trey Burton, a nine-yard touchdown grab. 
And the Bears have taken the early lead. Trey Burton was a guy that flashed during his years with the Eagles, but he's always stuck as the third option behind Zach Ertz and Brent Seller. Now, with the Chicago Bears, definitely going to get his shot. Personal player delivered right there with a touchdown catch. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's Newton now on second down. That's complete to the former Bear. It's Greg Olson. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Newton to Fourth down, and here's Graham Gano now in the field goal unit for the Panthers. And Gano's kick is right through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. The NFC North champion Chicago Bears, they take the field here again on offense. Their first division title this year since 2010. They clinched it back in week 15 with that victory over Green Bay. Of course, Green Bay's had their number, especially in recent years. But what a season it's been for Chicago. And when you think about their previous four years, 5-11, 6-10, 3-13, and 5-11 and and again in 2017, now they'll have at least one home game in Soldier Field in January. This is a big turnaround. But I'd say go ahead and engrave the Coach of the Year award to Matt Nagy, their head coach. And it also will seal hirings going forward. Sean McVay with the Rams in 2017. Matt Nagy with the Bears in 2018. Look for those offensive guys to get the first crack at these jobs. Now it's Trubisky. And he's got a first down and then some at midfield. And finally, down at the 36-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis back with you as it's Bears football here to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and 10. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On first down, they run with Howard. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. And he gets it down to the 32. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. 
This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it in, throw it, go play action, and take your shot at the end zone. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And on this play, the read for the quarterback was the defensive end, and he was totally focused on the quarterback. He should have given it off inside to the running back. Instead, he kept it and ended up taking a loss on the play. Flushed out right, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. The Bears on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. Here it's third and two. Throwing here, Trubisky. Flush to his right. He can't bring him down. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. K1 short. In there to drop him for a six yard loss. And that'll lead to a fourth down. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And yep. But now the Bears coming out as they get ready. Now they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. He leads this one for Howard, and he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. It'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. But it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Nice job there finding room to maneuver, and he worked his way into another first down. And look, they had great field position to start. But boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off. Tackle made by K1 Short. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The screen pass here to Cohen. They lost four there, and it's third down. Well, that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize it is broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. And Parkey's kick is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I said, go ahead, take the knee, 
get on out for the half. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Back to back, nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. On first down, Trubisky. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Again, it's Trubisky. The quick slant caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. And Parkey's kick is good. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. And Gano's kick is right through. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So it's a third field goal for him now. He's accounted for all nine points. I look down to the sideline, though. You can just tell they weren't too happy for three. They wanted six. No, they have to have six. Look, he's keeping them afloat. But they really need to do exactly what you talked about. They need to get into the end zone and score some touchdowns. Otherwise, he's going to have to kick a lot more field goals than just a So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And they have to feel like they missed on an opportunity for points last time when they couldn't connect on that short field goal try. And no doubt about it, because they were counting on those points. In today's NFL, well, let's face it, that's really a chip shot, right? That's anything inside 40. Yeah, they, they're counting on that going through the post. But we've seen it happen to teams before. Some of the best kickers in the world can miss kicks like that. Can they come back now and redeem themselves? Now Trubisky to throw on second. And an alley to run. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so and picks up positive yardage. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. Guys, man, complete over the middle. That's Burton. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 23 yards on the play. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave them with second and a yard. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, 
But how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Here's Trubisky. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl of Luke Kinkley that picks it. And a big turnover there. Is Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him. And this is caught inside the five. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Allen Robinson, 50 yards. And the Bears will add on to their lead. Parkey with the extra point. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, was it? So they'll turn to the kicker again. He's been a busy man thus far. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And Gano's kick is right through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. The field goal we just saw has this now at a one-score game. And on this side of the football, things are getting pretty tenuous, a little stressful. Blood pressure up a little bit, you think? I think up a lot of it. Uh, could you imagine taking the pulse right now? Might be like a jackhammer out. That's caught at the 25. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. Trubisky finding White on a big play, 79 yards. So the defense blitzed, a nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him. And he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. This will be caught at about the five. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Mitchell Trubisky. And the Bears will extend their lead. That drive was quick and impressive. Almost like they had somewhere else they needed to be after the game.
Throwing on third down, Newton. Oh, spinning away. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. He got 29 yards that time. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Newton on first down. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Aaron Lynch in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. And they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivated. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Akeem Hicks in there to take him down and to take us to the two-minute warning. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Desperation time. Newton, fourth down. Wright's got it. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. From the red zone now, Newton. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They get ten more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. And he's got it. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Jarius Wright from three yards out. And the Panthers, they're able to draw a bit closer. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one to five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one to five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Trubisky with a give to Howard. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. And now we get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Again, it's Howard. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. There we go. You see it? You see it? Red, red, up. Up. 180. Throwing now is Trubisky. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execute? Then how about this, a fake? And this is caught, and the fake will work. He's going to have a first down. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Off. This is Howard. Stop made there by Julius Peppers. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college and it happened in the NFL. 
The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. And the play clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. That's going to set them back five yards. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. The win for the Bears just around the corner. They go down to a knee. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.